After learning about how to find out cubes, let us now see how can we get the cube roots of the given numbers. As we have already seen how to find out square roots, finding out cube roots will be easier for us to understand. Now in case of square roots, we had three steps. The first step was to check the unit space and find out the possible unit spaces of the answer. Second step is to decide what will be the remaining part of the answer. And the third step is to check which of the two answers are correct. A similar procedure can also be applied in case of cube roots. But let me tell you friends, finding out cube roots is easier when compared to finding out square roots. Why? Because in square roots we have three steps. But in case of cube roots, we have only two steps. But before we understand how to find out cube roots in two steps, let me make it clear, this method is applicable only for perfect cubes. Like in case of square roots, we have understood that it can be applied only for perfect squares. Here as well, the method is applicable only if the given number is a perfect cube. And generally, in the simplifications part of bank exams, we get only perfect cubes. If the question on cube roots is asked in approximations, then the number may or may not be a perfect cube. But otherwise, it is a perfect cube. So assuming that the given number is a perfect cube, let us see how to get the answer for this question in two seconds. The first step in finding out cube roots is similar to the first step in square roots. That is, we need to find out what is the unit's place of the given number. Now for that, we have to know the pattern of unit space. So that is as given here. For example, when a number ends with 1, its cube root ends with 1. When a number ends with 2, cube root ends with 8. When a number ends with 3, the cube root of the number ends with 7. Likewise for 4, it is 4. 5, 5, 6 and 6. For 7, we get the answer ending with 3. When a number ends with 8, we get the cube root ending with 2. When a number ends with 9, the cube root ends with 9. So as you can see here, for most of them, the units place remains same. 1, 4, 5, 6 and 9. Only in case of 2 and 8, it is interchange and 3 and 7, it gets interchange. So the pattern here is very simple. And this is the reason we have only two steps in case of cube roots. Why? Because when we are finding out square roots, if a number ends with 1, its square root may end with 1 or 9. So that is the reason we have two possible answers. But when we are finding out cube roots, if a number is ending in 1, its cube root ends only with 1. So there is no second possibility. That is the reason the third step is not there in finding out cube roots. We directly get what is the correct answer. So let us see how to find out cube roots of the given numbers here. Now the given number is 551368. We are supposed to find out the cube root of 5,51,368. The first step is to check the unit space. Now the number here is ending in 8. Assuming that this is a perfect cube, if the number is ending in 8, its cube root should end with 2 from the given pattern. So very clearly the answer will be ending with 2. Now the second step here again is similar to the second step of square roots. In square roots, we leave the last two digits and check for the remaining part of the answer. Here we have to leave the last three digits. That means forget about the last three digits. From the remaining part of the answer, find out that number which is immediately less than 551 and a perfect cube. Now something which is immediately less than 551 and a perfect cube is 512. 512 is 8 cube. So the tenth place has to be 8. So the answer for cube root of 551368 is 82. And as you can see here, there is no second possible answer. We directly get what is the correct answer. So the two steps here are, first check the unit's place and find out the required unit's place. And second step is, leave the last three digits from the remaining part of the answer, find out what is less than the given part and a perfect cube. And that will be giving us the required answer. Let's take one more example, 50653. Here, the number is ending in 3. When a number ends with 3, its cube root should end with 7. So that's the first step. Now leave the last three digits. What is less than 50 and a perfect cube? That is 27. 27 is 3 cube. If you go for 4 cube, it is 64, more than 50. We want lesser side. So immediately less than 50 and a perfect cube is 27. And 27 is 3 cube. So here, the tens place has to be 3. So 37 is the answer for cube root of 50,653. So in simple two steps, we get the answer for the given cube roots. Alright friends, I hope you understood how to find out cube roots of a given number. So assuming that you are very clear with the method there, let's see how quickly can you solve these four questions. And taking two seconds per question, you should be able to get all the answers in about eight seconds. Your time starts now.
Time up guys, let's see what are the correct answers for these four questions. Now as you can see here, the given number is 148877. When a number ends with 7, cube root ends with 3. Leave the last 3 digits. Less than 148 and a perfect cube is 125. 125 is 5 cube. So the answer here is 53. The next one here is 46656. When a number ends with 6, cube root ends with 6. Leave the last 3 digits. Less than 46 and a perfect cube is 27. 27 is 3 cube. So 36 is the answer. The next one here is cube root of 7,53,571. When a number ends with 1, cube root ends with 1. Leave the last 3 digits. Less than 753 and a perfect cube is 729. 729 is 9 cube. So here 9 will be the 10th place. So that is the answer for question number 3. And the last one here is 85184. When a number ends with 4, cube root ends with 4. Leaving the last 3 digits, less than 85 and a perfect cube is 64. 64 is 4 cube. So here the 10th place will be 4. So 44 is the answer for the last one. So as you can see here, it hardly takes 2 seconds for us to find out the cube root of a given number. But remember, applicable only for perfect cubes. Now how to find out square roots and cube roots of imperfect squares and imperfect cubes respectively will be a part of approximations. So that shall be discussed in the topic of approximations. So as of now, you just try to practice on finding out square roots and cube roots of perfect squares and perfect cubes respectively. That's all from this session of speed maths. I hope you all enjoyed this session. Remember friends, simply knowing the techniques is not going to help you. Make sure you practice well on them and you are able to apply it at the right time and at the right place. See you in the next session. Thank you.